Hello Leos, this is Tanya from Sarva Yoga and I help you navigate your life. Today it's time for your weekly reading for Leos for the upcoming week. So let's start shuffling. And before I forget, a little bit of aura spray. So wonderful. Now let's see. guides is there any information for leos for the next week please last week of july any information inside this deck thank you seven of pentacles not bad good anything else anything else inside this deck please thank you spirits guides and my high self the information is highly appreciated here and we're hoping it brings us onto our onto our divine path. Okay. Thank you. Anything else? Anything else for Leo's please for next week, last week of July? We could really use some help here. Okay, thank you. That is the Ten of Pentacles. Good. So. Then let's ask the Angel deck. Angel Spirits Guides. Is there any information? Oh, okay. <laughs> this is trust. That's very nice. Okay. <laughs> I went fast. Um, let's see if there's any angel advice here. Angel Spirits Guides, is there any angel advice inside this deck for Leos for next week, the last week of July, please? The information is highly appreciated because Leos have suffered a lot. Oh, beautiful. That's amazing. I'm going to leave it to that and we're going to go right into your interpretation. I'm very happy to tell you that finally the suffering is over and something good is about to happen because we as Leos we have suffered in silence a lot we are the type of person who doesn't show to the outside how heavy or painful everything is at the moment we try to keep strong for everybody else around us who needs us we are that guiding light for other people so we um, stay in our power um, we stay centered but underneath of course also for us like for any other human being things can get very hard to carry and i think we as leos we have carried a lot lately so um I'm going to start with the first card that fell, that was the Seven of Pentacles. And you can see that this man is uh, grooming a plant. So uh, this is like a pause button to your life. So you're sitting and pausing for a moment, looking back on everything that you have achieved in your life. You're looking at all the fruits that you, all the seeds that have grown and you are thankful, you show gratitude and with this gratitude, you also know that the next fruit you want to harvest is going to take a little bit more time and grooming for the plant until the fruit is there. Um, you can see that here that the fruit is not there yet. So you're just waiting and grooming and taking care of um, this plant, this thing you've sown and you're waiting to reap later. Um, 
This card says, as I give thanks for what I'm about to harvest, I know my life is headed in the right direction. So this person is trusting that this fruit will come. Yeah. Um, if there is frustration about the lack of progress, about the fact that you have to wait here a little longer, remember Rome wasn't built in a day either. And then we have the Hermit, a major arcana in reverse. So you're feeling like you're a misfit in this world maybe and you go to your refuge, you, you withdraw from the world. This person is sitting up on a mountaintop, uh, meditating up there alone. So, uh, but also finding the light, you know, finding the inner light, the inner guy that knows best, okay? So um, you need some alone time and some self-care because things have been hard. Um, and the clarity, the inner clarity can only come if you're alone. If there are too many distractions on the outside, if you're always around people, then inner clarity is not showing up. So ask your inner guide, your higher self, show me the brightest light so that I may see the path ahead. Yeah, um, You're searching maybe for your soul purpose here on earth um, or you have uh, gone through a spiritual awakening and the spiritual awakening is not all nice and lovey-dovey and funny. Actually, it's the opposite. A spiritual awakening is messy, it's dirty, it's uh, uncomfortable, it's looking at your shadows, it's having one breakdown, then breakthrough, then breakdown, then breakthrough. <laughs> so um, going through a spiritual awakening is heavy. <laughs> People always think you, you just sit there and meditate and you're all happy. No. <laughs> um, having a spiritual awakening is tough. <laughs> so congratulations to, for going through that process because you must be really strong to go through that. Um, but every time we grow, expand and learn, it's uncomfortable. Every kind of transformation where we have to grow is uncomfortable at first. And later when we look back, we're like, Phew, I'm happy that I did this because I've learned so much, but it was a lot of work. So trust that this too shall pass and that better times are ahead. Then uh, I want to just remind you that you have two tens in this reading. So tens means you're gonna reach the end of a circle soon. And here we have a wonderful 10 of pentacles. You can see there is prosperity, there is celebration, people are happy. So whatever success you have, you're gonna share it with friends and family. Um, I mean, it, this is your birthday month, right, Leo? Um, happy birthday to all of you who are born in July. I was born in August, so we're gonna celebrate right a little later then. <laughs> and yeah, we're gonna reach that state. We're gonna reach that state of success and prosperity that we've been waiting for, okay? So um, this card says, I am successful and I share my wealth with those I love. Um, if there are any negative thoughts or belief systems around money, then please look at them, drag them from the dark into the light. Um, uh, yeah, it's really about if there is a shadow aspect and we all have shadow aspects, we have to drag it into the light and look at it and then lovingly send it away. So we can treat that negative belief on money like a person. We can say, hello, negative belief on money. I thank you that you were here because you tried to protect me from some kind of disappointment, but now I don't need your service anymore and you may go. <laughs> That's how you lovingly let go of a negative belief system. Um, you, you accept it, you embrace it, and then you tell it that it's not necessary any, anymore and you can let go. So um, success is about to arrive in your life, expect the unexpected. Then I want to continue with uh, the angels. They have said trust. So the angels, they feel, okay, you are at a point in your life where everything has gone so bad for so long that you just lose faith. You lose faith. You're going like, okay, what is this? The whole world is breaking around me. Uh, in my own life, everything is falling to pieces. What is this? How can I still trust or believe if, if something like this is happening? But here's your confirmation. You have a reason to trust because the angels are with you and they're guiding you towards your right path. 
Um, you're maybe desperately searching for a yes or no answer in a situation for a path that, that's shown, yeah, that somebody shows you the way. But sometimes we can just wait. And here is the waiting, yeah? Sitting and waiting, there is sometimes no yes or no answer. Sometimes this answer will come later. So we just have to sit with the situation that we don't know the answer yet. We don't know where to go yet. We don't know where our next job is. We're, we don't know in which city we're going to live next. We don't know in uh, which profession we're going to work next. We don't know what's going to happen next. And sitting with that, sitting with uncertainty, is one of the hardest things for a human mind because the human mind goes crazy, it goes monkey mind. It goes like, I have to know all the answers. I have to know now, I have to know now. What, what can I do? No, you sit with that. You sit, you meditate like the hermit here. <laughs> you sit and you say, okay, I'm waiting, I'm trusting. Something good will come. And here is the final confirmation. You have two tens, the 10 of pentacles and the change of luck for the better so yeah you see this this is a major arcana yeah looks a little bit like the wheel of fortune it means that things are turning for the better for you okay so the trust that is shown here really has a reason so um the change of luck for the better card it says suddenly there will be a big leaf leap forward into uh, in your life even though things have been stagnant for a long time. You know, your life has been, ah, it's been like a chewing gum, an old chewing gum that's like, <laughs> um, So yeah, things have been stagnant and now finally, boom, that big invitation is coming, yeah? Um, and it might be that you have to make a very sudden, fast, quick decision and leave everything behind that you've had before and go into your new life. So it can happen really quick. And then you have to decide and move really quick. Okay. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> I don't know. Let's, let's take some kind of imaginary example. Two men are giving you a wedding proposal, a marriage proposal at the same time. And then you really have to decide quick which one you take. Okay, this, this would be one of these situations. Could also be two job offers, yeah? That one job offer is coming from Hawaii and the other is coming from uh, Germany or whatever. And then you have to decide really quick. Oh my God, which one I'm gonna take? Yeah, so it could, even, it could even be that you have a new vehicle here. So this card can also talk about getting a new car, getting a new motorbike, whatever it is for you that, that you like. So the vehicle is also standing for moving forward. There is suddenly movement coming into your life, okay? And this leap forward, this is totally unexpected. It comes out of the blue. Yeah, you just get a call like, hello, we've seen you on LinkedIn and we would like to hire you. And you're like, Oh my God, what's this? Where, where does this come from? <laughs> so that's what it means. So finally, good news for Leo. <laughs> I'm so happy because my life has been stagnant too. And I've been hoping and praying all the time that this will change. <laughs> so yeah, here is our confirmation. Things are going to get better. We just have to wait a little. I think maybe it can take until the first week of August, but things will get better. Yeah, trust, trust, sit with it. Thank you, Leo, for listening. If you liked it, please like, subscribe, share. Let me know in the comments when your birthday exactly is. I'm really curious. Mine is August 13th. And yeah, um, I hope to see you for the, yeah, the monthly reading for August is already out for Leo's. And then I see you for the next weekly reading. Thank you for listening. Bye.